Welcome back everyone to the Sonic Hacking Contest 2012 series hacks and we are doing the winner of Sonic Hacking Contest 2012 none other than Sonic Eraser created by the user Selby so without further ado let's begin Now I really like this hack. Um, it's pretty wacky, uh, for those of you who know. It's pretty awesome. So I represent screen going on there. But this this game is literally just crazy mad. I mean, you know, Sonic's randomly floating and hanging upside down. The press start button doesn't know whether to go left or right. The eraser sign is just like out there. I love it. I love it. And the background is actually quite nice as well. Really nice. Without further ado, chapter one: Run to the Hills. Now normally it would do a tutorial thing, um, or what you can do is, actually, I'll show you. If we go here, got an options menu. You can have an extended camera on, which I just leave. You can switch art. I don't really know what that is. I might have unlocked it before. You've got a sound test, of course. But I'm going to delete the save, just so I could show you <coughs> a... Um, a tutorial screen if I remember correctly. Yep. So anyway, hello and welcome to Sonic Eraser, the craziest journey you'll ever take with your favourite blue hedgehog. I know you want to dive right into the action and get your brains slain apart by insanity and explosive madness. Um, I don't know about that, but before your own safety there are a few things you should get yourself comfortable with first. First off, this game requires more than holding right and jumping from time to time. Oh, damn it! You will face some of the most rage inducing, unique, and explosive challenges ever created for a Sonic game. Destruction. Awesome. Because tears of frustration should be kept at a minimum, the following level will teach you some of the basics you will need to know late in the game. Good to hear. Alright then, let's begin. This is a tutorial place. I figured I'd show this off. Um, yeah, I'll show this off. So if you press A, it will basically explain you. Yeah, welcome to the tutorial place. One looks like these. I spread around this level and will tell you a lot about what to do. Blah blah blah. So anyway, this is basically like a tutorial to help you <coughs> get used to the Xeni. Yep, you can jump. You can uh, you you can only jump by pressing B, C, or A. It requires for some miscellaneous abilities. I'll explain later. Though. Yep. Super peel out as well. You can dash forward, and you can double jump. So you can do that. Dash. And you can go down. Spin dash. Now I just realised you can actually go when you're running. It's sort of two beta kind of stars, so... Anyway, let's jump up. By the way, just for a quick note, you just press the jump button pretty much. And up. Um, <coughs> and you just press the jump button down again when you're in midair. Wanna go down? And just, just ju press the jump button twice to dash. Simples. So we've on. Probably should have picked up speed there. Peel out, go! Spin for the win! I just think of a tumble dryer all of a sudden. I don't know. This is a special monitor. This isn't a super, super monitor, by the way. This is kind of like a wacky, very strange monitor. I'll, I'll, I'll let the I'll let the monitor do the talking. Talking. <coughs> It'll make you invincible, even for bottomless pits, and being crushed to death, which is a bit crazy. Additionally, by pressing A, you can shoot a small bullet, which if you touch it, will propel you in the air. Have a little fly around. <laughs> oh yeah, and you get the home and attack. I know what you're thinking. 
What? <laughs> so yeah, if you jump and press the A button, you will summon little or just just well it's just like you know destroy destroy and destruction. If you press down, you actually cause Sonic because he touches it in a way, and then you can kind of just control him. It's a bit like you know just crazy. But it's it's absolutely hilarious. The Senate one is different. It it will still make you invincible and you can still shoot bullets but you will lose all other abilities. More important is the fact that you will slowly lose rings over time and very fast when you're when <coughs> when you are standing on the ground until you reach zero and die. These are very rare and you should only find them in very, very old and ruined places. Yeah, it's kind of funny because he hints out there's pretty much one level <laughs> with that, so... Get through that narrow spot to get to the next room and continue! Normally you would need to hurry up before your rings run out, but for the sake of this tutorial, we will cut that out for now. Ah, uh, no, no. Alright. Here we go again. Up! Oh, no. No! <laughs> Boo! Uh, where am I going again? I actually forgot. Oh yeah, that's it. Oh, whoops. Yeah, touching the <coughs> touching the spikes will basically reset you. Or teleport you back to where you started and remove a few rings. So, yeah, you should be careful. So you have to kind of... It's a bit tricky. You have to kind of press down. But you have to kind of like guide yourself as well. Oh, hello. I don't know if it's show you, but it went um, completely white for me. It might be the recording. And I was like, what's going on? Oh, if you press A, B and C, this kind of like helps you in difficult situations like so. There you go. You have to press it a few times. I won't go to bother reading it. Ah. Uh... This like requires like specifics and stuff. You can't see what's down below. Harsh bottomless pits is harsh. Normally I'd be like bottomless pits, really. However, because this is kind of like aiming to frustrate you and difficulty, I don't mind too much. <clears throat> it sounds evil, but some challenges simply cannot be completed without trial and error. Yeah, do not worry though. Real game overs do not exist anywhere in this game, so be so do not be afraid to be manic. <laughs> Find a way through. Yeah, I remember doing that, so just pretty much spin dash. At some point in this game, it would be possible to control the gravity of Sonic. That's right. And I'll show you how to do it. Just literally jump and hold A. Which I think is pretty cool. It's simple, but cool. Oh, come on. There's literally one level dedicated to it. And it's a pain, but we're going to go through it together. It's probably going to be separated, because this is will probably take me a while, so... Yeah, Sonic Razor, and I didn't really introduce myself, but I'm sure you guys know I'm Anime Master by now. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be playing this. This actually won the Sonic Hacking Contest. Um, and I think I think it deserved it, because it's different. And, I mean, you know, little text, little text messages like these. It's all the little details that are just impressive, you know. Like the little monitors that, you know, once you walk over them, they appear, and, you know, you press A and everything. Um, sort of reminds me of that little helper guy in that Marky Jester game. Um, but you know, that's just. That is literally awesome. I mean, look, it's even coded so that you can hover here, but then when you get here, it stops. You can't do it anymore. Things like that. I know, I know, I know, but little details like that, it's good programming, you know, it's really good. And I like how he uses the rings to tell her what the place is. And not only that, as you may have noticed, the ring actually goes down and go up, so. One hot day in Green Hill Zone. And it has little scenes, which is cool. So let's see what's going on here. Boing! Random um, buzz bomber of shootiness, I don't know. Super Saiyan? I mean, not even supersonic. Ah! Uh. Boom! And just like that, the level changed. 
Spike Sucker decided to go back to the hills and check out what's going on. <laughs> when suddenly explosions everywhere! A grey metallic bus bomber showed, exploding bombs on him. Sonic escaped it but uh, mindlessly fell into a ring trap and landed in a strange parallel dimension. He needs to blast his way to Eggman and escape it. <laughs> Chapter 1 Run to the Hills. That's right. So we're back here again, the Uber Hub, because it's uberly awesome. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I will apologise, I've got a kind of a bad cough and a cold. <clears throat> okay. Let's go through the first level. We don't really have axe, so just kind of like one level sort of thing. Hello and welcome to Sonic Eraser. Oh, wait, 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 this is the Toro, isn't it? I think. Yeah, I totally forgot. Okay, we'll ignore the tutorial. Just go back in here. Oh, I forgot the tutorial was there. And I think, can we skip this as well? I hope we can skip this. Yeah, we can. Good. <clears throat> Alright, yeah, so ignore that. The only thing I would say is maybe to have like a little sign saying tutorial. But, from what I can tell, it's not going to work on this. I mean, okay, yeah, this says Night Hill Place, so... To be fair, tutorial, minor, very minor, you know. Anyway, let's go down. Whee! I was going to die there. Not here, please, act one of eight. You're hardly thinking, what, eight acts? But no, 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 it's all part of the levels. And by the way, that was all automated. Sonic 06! Now I'm only kidding. That's alright, I don't mind. But, uh... <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so the HUD scores and everything is different. Um, the difficulty, as you probably guessed, is like very hard and stuff. Um, so if you like a challenge, definitely. If you don't like a challenge, then this game isn't for you. That's for sure. <clears throat> definitely not for you. <coughs> <coughs> so Green Hill Zone hasn't really changed too much. It's mainly the enemies. So the buzz bombers and the motor bugs are just like, you know, crazy and stuff. Oh dear. There we go. Ooh. I've never actually explored too much. I've just kind of like went, you know, right and everything, so. Whoops. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, you can use that to skip this area, but I don't really want to, so... Uh, and that's basically what happens, so... Whoops! Alright. Let's continue. You gotta watch out for... I think it's this area, because... That area, um... The buzz bombs, they like, can't be destroyed, I think? Yeah, yeah. So you just gotta be careful of that. There we go, we made it. Spin dash! Whoa. And just like that, mini boss. Yeah! <laughs> Crab meat. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> What's this crazy shit going on? Ow. You actually, actually got quite a few rings, so. In that said, you should be. Alright, there you go. With no rings remaining, but. <laughs> Boom. And just like that. Green Hill Zone. So that's pretty cool. It's kind of like act transitions, so that's cool. Do, do, do. Whoa. Do, do. Playing through Green Hill Zone. Invincibility. Do, 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 do. But this is from Guns the Heroes. I don't mind the music. Personally. I'm not a big fan of it, and I'm not a big fan of the like the instruments used personally. That's just my opinion, you know. I think it's all right, but you know. I mean, for 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 an art. Uh, uh, by the way, the P's act at well, what? <laughs> the P's act as um. What do they act as? They act as um. Ow! Exploding. Uh, Whatever you call them, choppers. No. They act 
as checkpoints basically because there's no lampposts. Well, well, there was that one lamppost, but yeah, they ba they're basically like checkpoints. So. Even though there's a lamppost but there, but you know, yeah, yeah, you you'll see what I mean. The shield actually acts like an electric shield as well. So there's a Robotnik. <laughs> whoa, 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 free, dude. <laughs> Ow. 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 I just, I was just like, ow. I know what I'm trying to do. There we go. Because it is possible to pretty much not get hit by this guy. Ow. Ow. <laughs> just, just ow. There's, <laughs> it's just like I'm failing at this. There we go. Ow. Oh, come on. <laughs> Will... Uh, <laughs> Whoops. I kind of screwed myself up. Now I have to fight him again. Damn. <laughs> no. That's not fair. Oh, well, I can beat him better this time, so it's not so bad. Whoops. <laughs> oh. Screwed I screwed up the pattern there. Ow. God damn it. I keep doing the peel out and I don't even want to do the peel out. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get ya. Get ya, Eggman. There we go. <coughs> now, I'm gonna, not gonna be dumb and peel out this time. <laughs> and there you have it. So, pretty cool. Teleporting waffles, crab meats with exploding balls, and the original Green Hill Zone transformed into itself. In, into hell itself. How could this situation possibly become ever worse? Eggman with a spiked ball. The irony was too great for Sonic, so he had to make it made it quick. But back to the Uberhub, a very special ring blocks his way to advance. Yeah, you're gonna see what that little text means next time. So I hope you've enjoyed um, this uh, portion of kill me. Come on, you know you want to. <laughs> portion of um, Sonic Eraser. Join me next time as we enter this mysteriously ring. Well, mysterious, mysterious ring. I think I'm a master, so uh, don't forget to like and all that if you like the video and then like uh, Sonic Eraser. I'm looking forward to carrying on with this, so see you later, guys.